Early warning signs of kidney disease. The kidneys are vital organs responsible for filtering waste products, excess fluids, and toxins from the bloodstream, maintaining electrolyte balance, and producing hormones that regulate blood pressure and red blood cell production. Kidney damage can be caused by various factors, including chronic conditions, diabetes, hypertension, infections, medications, and lifestyle choices. It's important to recognize the warning signs of kidney damage so that you can seek medical attention promptly. Here are some common warning signs of kidney damage include Number 1. Changes in urination. Increased or decreased urgency to urinate. Frequency of urination. Blood in the urine, hematuria, foamy or bubbly urine. Number 2. Swelling. Swelling in the hands, feet, ankles, or face, edema, due to the body's inability to remove excess fluid. Number 3. Fatigue and weakness. Feeling unusually tired or weak even after getting enough rest. Number 4. Fluid retention. Accumulation of fluid in the body, leading to weight gain. Number 5. Shortness of breath. Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, often due to fluid buildup in the lungs. Number 6. Back pain. Persistent pain in the mid to lower back, not necessarily severe. Number 7. Metallic taste or ammonia breath. A persistent metallic taste in the mouth or bad breath that smells like ammonia. Number 8. Nausea and vomiting. Nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, or a generally upset stomach. Number 9. Itching and skin rashes. Persistent itching, often accompanied by dry skin and skin rashes. It's important to note that some of these symptoms can also be caused by other conditions, so it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional for a proper evaluation and diagnosis. If you experience any of these warning signs, especially if they are persistent or worsen over time, seek medical attention promptly. These symptoms can lead to kidney failure. Kidney failure, also known as end-stage renal disease, ESRD, is a condition in which the kidneys lose their ability to function adequately to maintain the body's internal balance. So kidney failure is typically divided into five stages, which are determined based on the glomerular filtration rate, GFR. The GFR is a measure of how well the kidneys are filtering waste and excess fluids from the blood. Here are the stages of kidney failure. Stage 1. Kidney damage with normal or high GFR. GFR is equal to or greater than 90 milliliters per minute. In this early stage, there may be kidney damage, but the kidneys are still functioning normally, and the individual may not experience noticeable symptoms. Stage 2. Mild reduction in GFR. GFR is between 60 and 89 milliliters per minute. The kidneys continue to work effectively, but there may be slight signs of kidney dysfunction. Stage 3. Moderate reduction in GFR stage 3 is further divided into two substages. Stage 3A, GFR is between 45 and 59 milliliters per minute. Stage 3B, GFR is between 30 and 44 milliliters per minute, 1.73 square meters. At this stage, kidney function is noticeably reduced, and symptoms may become more apparent. It is essential to start managing underlying conditions and preventing further progression. Stage 4. Severe reduction in GFR. GFR is between 15 and 29 milliliters per minute. Kidney function is significantly impaired, and individuals may experience severe symptoms and complications. At this stage, preparing for renal replacement therapy, such as dialysis or kidney transplant, becomes necessary. Stage 5. Kidney failure, end-stage renal disease. GFR is less than 15 milliliters per minute or dialysis is required. In this final stage, the kidneys have lost almost all their ability to function, and patients require kidney replacement therapy, dialysis or kidney transplant, to survive. Thanks for watching my video. I will explain kidney failure treatment in my next coming videos. Kindly like, comment, share and subscribe my channel.